Last tutorial we went over uh, adding text uh, to display uh, properties or variables that you can change real time in the game. And today I'm going to take that last lesson and put it into the 3D shooter that uh, we've been working on. Um, so first thing we need to do, which I've already done here, is add a plane. Right now it's just kind of stuck in our player, don't worry about that much. We're going to hit tab and then we're going to hit uh, over here in our uh, image viewer, we're going to say open. We're going to go to where we have our TGA file saved from the previous tutorial or any other TGA font file you may have available. TGA is not a font file, it's an image file that, that in this case will contain our fonts. So we click that and it's right here. There we go. And then we're going to hit U in our 3D view and unwrap. So we unwrapped uh, that plane. We're going to scale it down. Grab it, move it up here, zoom in, grab it, and put it around uh, our little at symbol here, just like so, looking good. And we're going to rotate it so our words aren't upside down. Okay, so next we have to go into our edit screen down here, go to texture face, and we're going to choose text and alpha. And so far, so good. Uh, next thing we'll do, we're going to side view here. I get out of edit mode by hitting tab. We're going to hit R and we'll rotate this till it looks like it lines up with the camera pretty good. And then I will grab it and move it towards the camera like so. And then we'll scale it down like so. And we'll put it up in the corner of the screen here. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go over here to our uh, logic editor. We're going to click on our player, and he has the jetpack uh, property here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add, and we're going to add property. And when a proper this property is changed, and the property is going to be jet, we are going to oh, actually remove that. Add a hook here, and now we're going to shift select the plane with the text and we're going to add to it property and we're going to say copy and we're going to say the property we're going to add a property to it called text with a capital T and we're going to make it an integer and we're going to connect it like so and so what we're going to say here is the property of text and we're going to copy it to equal the player property jet. So let me explain all this. Let's bring this up. Okay. So what we have is every time the player property jet changes and it's checking this constantly, it is going to take the planes uh, that are fonts property of text, which is what it's going to display, and sets it equal to what the jetpack is equal to. So let's see how that works. We'll hit, uh, oh, next thing, before we start playing, we have to select our plane here that our font's on, and then shift select the camera and hit control P and make it apparent so it follows the camera. Let's start the game. You can see the uh, O right there for zero because the jetpack property is at zero right now, but when we pick up the jetpack, boom, it changes to 100, and as we go up, you can see the number counting down. And when it hits zero, I'll run out of power. So that's good. Uh, let's now shift D to clone. Oh, undo that. Control Z. Uh, select just the plane and then shift D and grab and pull that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this uh, hook property there and I'm going to change this uh, property to string and it's still going to name it text with a capital T and we're going to call this jet pack power perfect and let's shift select both those planes and scale them down actually the size might be alright but let's move them up a little bit higher all depends on how much we're zoomed in here let's uh, make this full screen and see what we got. We'll hit P. Look at that. Jetpack power is at zero. 
grab the jetpack, and as we fly up, the number goes down. So that is how you hook the jetpack uh, to our font to display how much power you have. And you can do that with any item with any property. Hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Once again, I still have to figure out how to, you can see how that font's changing to black. That's because we're moving out of the range of the uh, light that I have set up. And uh, somehow I'm going to figure out how to make that shadeless. I know how to do that with uh, materials outside of the game engine, but I'm not sure how to do it in the game engine. But as soon as I know, you will know. I hope you found this useful. And if you know how to do that, go ahead and leave me a comment. That would be great, or send me a message. Uh, once again, uh, visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. The link is in the description. And so is the uh, file that I'm working with so that you can, if you're having problems with uh, getting it to work on your computer, download mine, see if it works. And that way you know it's, it's that you may have done something small and you can look at what I did and uh, pick up the mistake you made. Have a great day, and I hope I helped.